step into the hushed embrace of a bygone era where flickering shadows and lingering whispers hold the promise of a captivating tale. Close your eyes and let the echoes of the fearless vampire killers, the 1967 masterpiece, dance through your imagination. Remember the first time those opening credits rolled before your eyes, a portal to a world where eerie castles and moonlit escapades reigned supreme. Perhaps it was the unforgettable blend of horror and humor that ensnared you, or the thrill of joining Professor Abrancius and his bumbling assistant Alfred on their quest to rid the world of the undead. Summon forth the ghosts of laughter and shivers as you reminisce about those moments that left an indelible mark. Was it the masquerade ball scene, a symphony of eerie elegance where vampires mingled with unsuspecting humans? Or maybe it was the heart-pounding chase through the snow, a dance of survival against the backdrop of a frozen night. Each frame, a testament to the movie's ability to transport you to a realm where fantasy and fright entwine in perfect harmony. And now, as the memories stir and the echoes of that cinematic encounter resurface, let's delve into some intriguing revelations about this unforgettable classic. Discover the untold stories that unfolded behind the scenes, the inspirations that breathed life into the characters, and the unexpected twists that shaped its legacy. So, with anticipation in your heart and a twinkle of nostalgia in your eye, let's embark on a journey to unearth the hidden gems that make the fearless vampire killers a timeless treasure. Brace yourself for a tapestry of facts that will deepen your appreciation for the movie that's been etched into the annals of film history. Buckle up, for the stage is set, the curtain drawn, and the secrets about to be revealed, all in the name of celebrating the brilliance of this cinematic gem. Join me as we peel back the layers and relive the magic that has left us spellbound for decades. And now, without further ado, let's venture into the captivating realm of random facts about the fearless vampire killers. The 1967 movie The Fearless Vampire Killers, directed by Roman Polanski, merges horror with comedic charm in a captivating tale. Set in a remote Transylvanian inn, the film follows bumbling vampire hunters Professor Abrancius and his apprentice Alfred as they stumble upon the sinister activities of Count von Kralach and his undead minions. The movie's origins lie in Polanski's desire to blend horror and humor, resulting in a unique and quirky interpretation of the vampire genre. The characters are iconic in their own right, with Professor Abrancius' eccentricity and Alfred's awkward bravery adding depth to the narrative. Polanski's distinct directorial style weaves suspenseful scenes with comedic interludes, creating an offbeat atmosphere that captivates viewers. The fearless vampire killers left an indelible mark on popular culture, influencing subsequent vampire-themed films and satirical horror comedies. Its ability to balance horror and humor opened doors for filmmakers to explore unconventional narratives, and its comedic take on vampire lore has continued to resonate with audiences, contributing to the enduring appeal of the vampire genre in both film and television. The film's legacy lives on, celebrated for its distinctive fusion of elements that challenge genre conventions and engage viewers in a truly unforgettable cinematic experience. Polanski's Vision vs. American Edits The Tale of the Fearless Vampire Killers in 1967, director Roman Polanski unveiled his quirky horror comedy film, initially titled Dance of the Vampires. However, as the film crossed the Atlantic, it underwent a transformation that left Polanski far from pleased. The American version emerged as the fearless vampire killers, with over 20 minutes slashed from its runtime. The result? A plot that Polanski deemed incomprehensible. To salvage the narrative, an animated sequence was ingeniously inserted, aimed at clarifying the storyline's twists and turns. Yet, this was not the sole adjustment that troubled the director. Both the leading actors, Jack McGowan and Polanski himself, found their voices replaced by dubbed counterparts. This artistic departure was a far cry from Polanski's vision. Across the ocean, however, European audiences were treated to the unaltered dance of the vampires. In Britain, the film retained its rightful title for a time, but as the mid-1990s dawned, the moniker The Fearless Vampire Killers took hold, persisting on TV and DVDs. The reasons for this curious title swap remain elusive, perplexing both viewers and scholars alike. Shrouded in mystery, this cinematic metamorphosis stands as a testament to the tides of creative control and marketing whims. The film once known as Dance of the Vampires found itself forever identified with fearless vampire slayers. And so, as audiences recall this cult classic, they may not realize that the true intent of Polanski's creation, complete with its nuanced nuances and original vocal tones, has been obscured in the passage of time. Unraveling the enigma of the fearless vampire killers reveals not only the film's transformation but also the challenges artists face when their vision crosses borders. Polanski's tale reminds us that even a title can wield considerable power in shaping a film's identity, a generation's perception, and the legacy it leaves behind. Dance of the Vampires hits Broadway, a haunting melodic tale in the mystical realm of musical theater, the legacy of the fearless vampire killers takes a fresh, melodic turn. A chilling adaptation, titled Dance of the Vampires, debuted at Vienna's Raymond Theater on October 4, 1997. 
Directed by none other than Roman Polanski himself, the production wove together the sinister and the sensational, breathing new life into the cinematic classic. A notable resonance was struck with the selection of Jim Steinman, renowned for his collaborations with rock icons Meatloaf and Bonnie Tyler, as the composer behind the Eerie Symphony. A masterful fusion of theater and rock, Steinman's score added a spine-tingling layer to the tale, amplifying the sinister ambience while maintaining a lyrical allure. The Broadway stage soon beckoned, and in 2002, the adaptation found its home in the Luminous District. Stepping into the lead role was Michael Crawford, a luminary of the stage celebrated for his embodiment of complex characters. Crawford's portrayal added depth to the narrative, enticing audiences into a world where vampires lurked in shadows and melodies told tales of both love and trepidation. The harmony of gothic horror and melodic innovation became the hallmark of Dance of the Vampires, an embodiment of Polanski's distinct artistic touch. The adaptation wasn't merely a reimagining, it was a bold reinvigoration that resonated with audiences anew, proving that even the most chilling tales can find a new life on the stage. As the curtains rose and fell, the legacy of the fearless vampire killers persisted, transcending the boundaries of time and medium. Through music and theater, Polanska's tale of vampiric intrigue endured, captivating the imagination and proving that even the most chilling legends can find a hauntingly beautiful melody. Sharon Tate's iconic role in the fearless vampire killers in the annals of Hollywood history, the year 1967 shone a spotlight on a cinematic gem that would forever intertwine the fates of two rising stars. The Fearless Vampire Killers, a horror comedy directed by Roman Polanski, boasts a curious origin story that is as captivating as the film itself. It was on the set of the Beverly Hillbillies in 1962 that producer Martin Ransohoff's keen eye first fell upon Sharon Tate. In a twist of fate, Ransohoff's discovery would alter the course of cinematic history. Initially planning to cast Jill St. John in Polanski's film, Ransohoff championed Tate for the role, a decision that would prove pivotal. With Scent, John's sudden departure, Polanski acquiesced and cast Tate as the leading lady. Tate's journey into the film was marked by a series of peculiar encounters with Polanski. Their initial dinners were awkward and sparse in conversation, yet it was a subsequent dinner at Polanski's apartment that would be etched into Hollywood lore. Alone in the apartment, Tate was startled by Polanski's sudden disappearance, only to be greeted by his return wearing a fearsome mask. A scream ensued, and with it, Tate's place in the film was secured. Beyond the silver screen, life imitated art, as Tate and Polanski's on-screen collaboration blossomed into a real-life romance. Their union, culminating in marriage, added another layer of intrigue to the film's narrative. The Fearless Vampire Killers remains a testament to the serendipitous interplay of fate and talent in Hollywood. The film's legacy is forever intertwined with Sharon Tate's meteoric rise, a rising star plucked from obscurity by a producer's intuition and a director's unorthodox tactics. As the reels of history continue to turn, this tale stands as a testament to the indelible mark left by one of cinema's most enigmatic collaborations. Dance of the Vampires, a dark Broadway tale in 1997, Vienna's Raymond Theatre bore witness to a macabre transformation. Dance of the Vampires, a musical adaptation of Roman Polanski's 1967 cult classic film The Fearless Vampire Killers, took to the stage with haunting prowess. Helmed by Polanski himself, the production added a musical dimension to his gothic tale, while rock composer Jim Steinman, famed for collaborations with Meatloaf and Bonnie Tyler, infused the production with his evocative melodies. Austrian audiences were enraptured by the eerily enchanting performance, as they witnessed the undead come to life through haunting choreography and Steinman's rock-infused compositions. Polanski's direction breathed new life into his cinematic creation, a feat that would later cross the Atlantic to captivate Broadway audiences. In 2002, the vampiric narrative descended upon New York's famed theater district, with Michael Crawford assuming a leading role. The Broadway rendition transported spectators into a world where fear and fascination entwined, all set against the backdrop of the mysterious Transylvanian castle. Crawford's portrayal, coupled with Steinman's haunting melodies, solidified Dance of the Vampires as a bewitching theatrical experience. The production's allure lay not only in its macabre themes but also in its nod to history. Among the ancestral portraits that adorned the castle's walls, an intriguing figure stood out, an ugly old woman inspired by a sketch attributed to the venerable Leonardo da Vinci. This peculiar image, with roots dating back to the 18th century, bore resemblance to Marguerite Maltash, the enigmatic Countess of Tyrol from the 14th century. Dance of the Vampires united cinema, music, and history in a captivating symphony of darkness. From Vienna's eerie embrace to Broadway's grand stages, Polanski's timeless tale continues to thrive, ensnaring audiences in its web of immortal allure. As the curtains fall on our cinematic journey through the eerie realms of the fearless vampire killers, the silver screen fades, yet its enchanting legacy lingers on in the corridors of our minds. The year was 1967, a time capsule capturing the essence of an era, a celluloid adventure that continues to bridge the gap between past and present. 
This masterpiece, like a vintage wine, has aged elegantly, its narrative a harmonious blend of humor, horror, and timeless romance. As you've navigated through the darkened castles, chuckled at the eccentric Van Helsing, and felt your heart race alongside the protagonists, you've woven your own story into the fabric of this classic. Perhaps you've found solace in the film's quirky charm or a kinship with its daring characters. Now, the reel may have stopped, but the emotions it stirred, the laughter it kindled, and the shivers it sent down your spine are yours to treasure forever. The fearless vampire killers wasn't just a tale confined to the screen, it's an echo of your own experiences, a canvas upon which your memories can paint. What scenes provoked your laughter, what moments ignited your curiosity, what characters left an indelible mark on your imagination? Share these fragments of connection, these cherished fragments of your journey with the film, and together well weave a tapestry of diverse experiences that breathe new life into this cinematic gem. Your thoughts are the true heartbeat of this classic, keeping it alive in the hearts of generations to come. So, let your reflections flow, your memories dance, and your words ignite a symphony of shared passion. Thank you for gracing the world of the fearless vampire killers with your presence, for embracing its magic, and for allowing its captivating allure to intertwine with your own narrative. May your reminiscences continue to unfold like the scenes of a captivating film, each frame imprinted with the warmth of nostalgia, until our paths cross again in the realm of stories and dreams. Remember, it's not just a movie, it's an inseparable part of your journey, enigmatically yours.